Dear students, this is the second part of the topic respiration in mollusca. In the first part, we mainly discussed about the organs involved in the aquatic respiration and today we shall be talking about the organs involved in the terrestrial respiration in the case of mollusca. Before proceeding, it is my request to you all to like and subscribe my channel BioLearnia. Today we shall be talking about the pulmonary respira respiration in the case of mollusca. Most pulmonate gastropods are terrestrial, are freshwater inhabited, but a few such as Siphonaridae occur intertidally. In terrestrial species, mental cavity has become highly vascular lung in which relatively large quantities of the blood may be brought into the close proximity with air which fills the cavity. The pulmonated forms that have invaded the fresh waters or the sea, this lung remains unaltered. This is the figure, this is the figure wherein you clearly see wherein you clearly see that this acts as a lung in the case of the pulmonate gastropods. In many others, wherein the respiration is in water, the tinnidia are present, that is the comb-like gills are present, or in some cases, mental can act as, a, or the cuteness respiration can take place, but in the case of the pulmonate gastropods where in the pulmonary respiration takes place the lungs the sac like structure in the form of the lungs which is highly vascular that is present the pulmonary respiration in mollusca in the form of the lungs it is of two general types depending upon the renewal mechanism whether there is simple ventilation or there is diffusion. Air breathing gastropods possess various modifications which minimize evaporation from respiratory surface and also establish pumping mechanism for the renewal of air. So this is the in many cases this is the pneumostome that is the opening from where the air gets in that we shall be talking about now here in this picture clearly reveals the open pneumostome and here in the pneumostome is closed this is the opening and the closing of the pneumostome which helps in the respiration which helps in the breathing on land so here in this very slug you can clearly see that this is the pneumostome this is the pneumostome which is clearly visible in case of this very slug and here in this case this pneumostome is open and this pneumostome here it is closed <clears throat> now the opening of the respiratory cavity that is mental is reduced to a narrow tube that is the pneumostome while the muscular floor contracts rhythmically so this very pneumostome which is also called as the respiratory pore which you can see here that herein when the air gets in and leaves out it is because of the contraction of the muscles which undergo this activity rhythmically the floor of the roof cavity is covered with ridges which contains veins which converge on the heart when the muscle contracts this is very much important here that when we see that this very part of the gastropod when we see that this is like this this is like this so when the muscle contracts the arched floor flattens and air is drawn in and at the limit of contraction a wall slides across the pneumostome so this very pneumostome the opening and closing of it depends upon a wall which controls the breathing in and letting the air out so 
when the muscle contracts the arched this very arched floor which is visible to you like this this very arched floor this very arched floor this is the normal floor of the gastropod like this and when the muscle contracts this very arched floor comes on to this very position that is it flattens and air is drawn in so if this is the pneumostome this opens air gets in when the arch flattens and at the time of the contraction the wall slides across the pneumostome so when this very air gets in this very pneumostome gets closed as well and in contrast i will just show you by the another blue color that when the muscle relax the cavity decreases in size and increases <clears throat> the pressure so when this again the muscles relax the cavity again decreases so this again goes up this again goes up and becomes arched and this very cavity where in air has to be filled this very cavity again decreases so there is increase in pressure and the gas and, and the gases exchange takes place within the blood and with this very pressure the pneumostome opens and air is expelled out so the first of all it is like this then the muscles contract it becomes flattened the air gets in and again again when the muscle relaxes it again reaches to the same position and it leads to the increase in the pressure and thus the exchange the gases takes place and at the meantime the air leaves the uh, through the pneumostome so this is how this exchange takes place and the this very floor of the this very floor of the that is the um, cavity it is having the veins which converged on the heart the pulmonated gastropods renew air in lungs frequently as in the case of vertebrates so in the absence of the ventilation mechanism air arrives at the lung surface by simple diffusion owing to the large surface area of the lungs so because of the large surface area of the lungs when the air gets in the lungs the diffusion occurs and only the slight difference in the oxygen pressure is is adequate for the respiration <clears throat> and this is there are certain other uh, you can say um, secondary or many times we know it by the name of the nocle lobe nuchal lobe or pulmonary sac pulmonary sac so here in here in this is this is the in the case of pila this is in the case of pila where the pila respires with the help of the tenedia in the first case this is the aquatic respiration aquatic respiration and in the second case what you are seeing here and uh, this is called the nuchal lobe this is the nuchal lobe of the you can say pila and this is the mode of the entry of the water the the water enters from this very side and leaves through this very side after comes coming in contact with the tenedia but on the other hand if it is to, through the uh, through the lungs the air <clears throat> gets in and the pulmonary sac this is the um, pulmonary sac opening and it is directly in contact with the blood vessels so these these also act as the <clears throat> the terrestrial you can see mode of the respiration so the this very amphibious adaptation and the adaptation to the terrestrial life have introduced remarkable modification in the respiratory structures of the mollusk then the the left nuchal lobe is better developed in the in some forms as the respiratory siphon this is also called as the respiratory siphon many times this is referred to as the respiratory siphon as well so <clears throat> we do have many or in some cases amphibious prosopranchs um, or in the case of the pila we do have the pallial cavity that is incompletely partitioned by a fleshy fold 
um, which is also called as the epitemia. So, um, the, there is a right branchial chamber and the left pulmonary chamber as well, which are highly vascularized, which are highly vascularized, having the vascularized, uh, vascularized roof. And thus, this very, by the opening of the chambers, this is the, um, we call them as the pulmonary chambers, the air gets in and gets out, as I told you, and it is because of the partial differential pressure of the oxygen and the other gases, this very res respiratory exchange takes place. So, this was all about the respiration in the case of the mollusca in general. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hope you... Um, enjoyed the lecture and uh, it is my request to you all to like and subscribe my channel